what does it mean to uh, know a person? Well, you have to know their fundamental uh, premises, uh, not necessarily the words, but the actions. Uh, to watch that across time in a variety of circumstances. Uh, what do they do in their career? What do they do in their life so far as you know about it? And uh, you, you add it up uh, across time. Is there negative evidence, positive? And at a certain point, it doesn't take forever, but it does take some time. You, you can't know them right away. At a certain point, you say, essentially good, or essentially bad, or essentially mixed. And then you go into degrees from there. What does it mean to know yourself? Well, it's the same, but you have a big advantage in knowing yourself. Namely, that you know your own inner, re the, own, the reality of your inner commitment to whatever it is you espouse. You know your honesty or your non-honesty. Now, <clears throat> you still can't say, in my opinion, you can say, well, I introspected, and uh, I believe it all, I'm very sincere, so I'm 100% great. Introspection is difficult. And I think a, a necessary supplement to feel I know myself is you see yourself in action, just like others. But here, it's much easier to judge because you know what's behind it. <clears throat> but I, it took me quite a while before I would say I know uh, myself. I had to, I, in fact, sometimes the action made clear to me what I wanted uh, and vice versa. And finally, I don't say it takes a long time, but it's not self-evident just from introspection. That's my point. And this question finishes with, does my knowledge of another person have a, a different epistemological status than of non-human? Well, I think uh, judging uh, m uh, others, other people, is uh, much more complex. The whole method of doing it is much less uh, understood. And other people have free will. So even when you do uh, uh, understand them, and they always have the possibility of acting in a way that you did not predict. The most you can have about another person is probability. Even if you've lived with them for 50 years, it can be a very high probability. But so long as they have free choice, uh, they have a possibility of departing uh, from what you've seen. So I would say it's much more difficult to know another person than to know uh, animals, plants, or things. That's my opinion.